All right, I'm back with another Vincent Drug Unboxing. I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be tacked on to the end of another video or the beginning of a new video. I don't really know. This is definitely a small item, so it's not exactly going to be a full video on its own. I highly doubt it, unless I'm really desperate to get some content out. But, you know what? We're just going to dig into it anyway. Oh, wow, this thing is uh, very yellowed looking. And... There we have it. So I don't know if this is movie accurate for sure. I really don't. This is a little just rubber plastic skeleton. I guess it's more rubber than plastic, whatever. But there is a very similar one in the scene in Vincent Drug at the end of the display aisle with all the different masks that Jamie's walking past. This is kind of hanging off the end of the gondola. So it looks to be similar. I think it's really hard to tell in the movie if the eyes are red or not. I think you can kind of see that. Really what I was going off of when referencing these is that it seemed like the shoulders and the hips were roughly the same width on them. And I can kind of tell this one, you could see like they're kind of bent inwards a little bit, the hips. So I kind of accounted for that and them looking a little slimmer. Also, I believe you could tell the fingers were like individual fingers, not just like one big skeleton, like mitt kind of thing. So I don't know if this is really the right thing, like I said, but it's close enough that I think it will serve for my display purposes. So really quick and easy one, but uh, I guess I should look to see just for my own reference, if there is anything on here saying who made this thing. It just says made in China across his shoulder blades here. So, as with a lot of these things, no real identifying marks as to what they are, but uh, kind of another one for the collection. Another identifying bit I was going off of is these kind of ribs below the main rib cage. Kind of look like they're the same shape. And then, one thing I just noticed now that I realized was an identifying feature, if you look like the very first like vertebrae under his skull kind of sticks out almost like Frankenstein electrodes. And... I can kind of see that in the movies. I got the movie still pulled up over here. I can kind of see that there as well. Oh, and I guess I was also trying to go off of um, the vague measurements that they had. It's about maybe, probably more than a foot tall, but maybe like 15 inches or something tall. And looking at it, it was about the size of a mask. Hold it up next to Leatherface here, you can see he's roughly the size of a mask. So that was my other kind of go-to for trying to figure out what this thing was or trying to find something similar. So like I said, if he's not exactly right, <laughs> bobblehead, uh, he's close enough. So I think this will work in my collection for the time being. If anybody happens to know more than I do and knows what this is or where to track down something more accurate, then let me know. He also is covered in a, what I assume is old uh, fuzz from fake spider webs. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> Definitely a Halloween decoration through and through. Well, I just tied him off to the upper shelf here. So he's still kind of dangling and spinning around here. I guess to be accurate, he should have his back facing out to the rest of the room. Not exactly the best way to have him displayed in terms of like visual appeal. Um, but I think that's kind of how he's probably going to sit when he stops spinning around. Not entirely sure. He seems to have stationary. Oh no, there he's gone. I don't know. But yeah, nothing nothing crazy, like I said. A lot of these last few have been kind of lackluster, but uh, necessary little bits to add to the display. So there he is. All right, so welcome to the first Vincent Drug unboxing that I'm doing on this new camera. I don't know if it's gonna look that much better, but uh, hey, it's a, a first for this. You'll probably have seen other videos from my channel with this camera way before this one, but got to start somewhere with some of these. But yeah, this is not a large box, but one that I've been looking forward to getting my hands on. Well, I mean, I just ordered this a couple days ago, but this is a piece that's been like one of my targets lately, I guess you could say. Like one of the pieces that I've really been trying to go after. One of the pieces I kind of considered essential to this whole display and I feel weird saying that because after I bought it somebody asked me what it was from in the scene and I proceeded to show them a screenshot where you could barely see any of this. So I think I've made this bigger in my mind than it ever was in the film. And the funny part is some of this I already own because this is a 
Beistel, I, I don't know how you pronounce it, the, the name of the company, but, you know, the same one that made our Wolfman friend back here, and I have a few others from previous unboxings where I had to buy a bunch of stuff, but specifically, I wanted the packaging out of this because you see this in the display behind Jamie when she's kind of going past the masks in the background. It is right next to the cat and pumpkin blow mold. So yeah, not super prominent in the scene, not something that I think a lot of people would even notice, but to make things even more ridiculous, this is, I believe, the 1983 version of this. Also, as a sticker for Kmart for $2.47, I wish I paid $2.47 for this, that would have been nice. But this is the 86 version, or 83 version. And they've changed the design of this over the years, the front packaging specifically. And it's been like mostly the same components inside from what I could tell. They've changed maybe one or two over the years. They still make this today, I believe. And just the positioning on the cover, the way the word Halloween is written. Like most of the ones I see are the 95, I think. And Halloween is arced across here. Where the skull and the skeleton sit in relation to the other bits changes up and that's kind of one of the other ways to tell which version you're looking at. I'm not 100% sure it's the 1983 version in Halloween 4. It would make sense. It would only be a few years old. I don't think they've remade the design of this that often back in the day. But uh, from what I can see in the film, everything looks to be in the right spot and I think this is, I think this is it. So they put this in here weird. I could just flip it over because it has actually the punched hole in the top, you know, where it would sit on the peg. Uh, they just put it all in upside down. So the main part I care about is this, the, the outside view, which also does have like a happy Halloween there on the back. We have a scarecrow and I guess this little like corn thing next to him will expand out and be 3D. We got the same jack-o'-lantern I already have that I also mentioned was in the Haunted Mask episode of Goosebumps. We have a witch. We have another scarecrow. We have a, a multi-jointed skeleton. One that I love, the flaming skull. And a multi-jointed cat black cat so i'm probably going to keep all these in the bag with everything else put them on the shelf or on the peg but uh i do like that it is a complete set and not just the facade of one so that kind of makes me happy so there it is in its new home i had to do a little bit of rearranging to put this where i wanted it and honestly i could have this on display where you could see the whole thing but since it is kind of behind the blue mold in the movie granted the blue mold is up a little higher in the movie it's stacked on some books or costume boxes or something that i can't identify i still thought it was appropriate to have it kind of sitting there so it is a little more like its position in the film even though since i am cramming like three or four shelves worth of stuff into this display as one shelf nothing's ever really going to be in the right position once again like the myers mask is surrounded by different things depending on what scene you're looking at so there's a limit to how much i could really do but i think this is going to look nice and once i start getting a few more smaller bits that i'm hoping i could find to populate out the rest of this scene, it'll all come together. Having said that, here's a little wider zoomed out view of everything. So yeah, mostly the Myers mask and some of the smaller cardboard bits down at the bottom. Then of course, all the masks and some of the other random accessories up top. So I'm gonna keep digging through my save searches on a daily basis. And I'm hoping as the year goes on and it gets closer to Halloween and maybe some people take some stuff out of storage and decide to throw it up on eBay or Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, I can get some of the other weird odds and ends to put down here in this bottom part. Obviously there are still a couple masks I need. They're just, uh, you know, harder to get, especially at this point. So really it's the, it's little small things, the peg items that are becoming kind of my main focus and the thing that I think I have the next best chance of finding. So we'll see what it is that comes up next. Actually, that's a lie. I know what comes next. And it's a pretty cool one. So I anticipate this unboxing is gonna be rounding out a couple other ones in the video ahead of it. And actually it's probably gonna show up before a video of something that I've already opened. So. Uh, yeah, the chronology here is a little messed up, but I wanted to keep that other video separate and uh, This just felt something easy to put together with some of the other stuff. I've already filmed. All right So let's get into this box here And unlike some of the other recent ones. It is a single item unboxing. Here it is Okay, so they actually went in a 
helped package it a little better. So before I dig too far into it, and we'll reveal the mask underneath, this is a uh, Ben Cooper, I guess. Uh, this is um, what appears to be multiple boxes stuck together now that I look at it. Uh, unless I am missing a bit of history here. So it's a Spooky Spooks costume, which is uh, part of Collegeville, who probably most famously in terms of like, you know, movies and stuff, did the clown mask from Rob Zombie's Halloween or the clown mask that Rob Zombie used in his Halloween movie. So here at the top, you can see this is where they would specify what uh, costume it was. So this one was Monster. In size large and then there you can see the collegeville logo um, the box is kind of beat up but it's whatever um you got the spooky spooks logo over there uh the monster again on the other side so yeah kind of mirroring itself but uh this spoiler alert this isn't the monster costume inside first of all and then the back of it uh kind of fits but it is a ben cooper box back so this is kind of just a hodgepodge of, uh, of pieces here. But uh, we'll take the lid off. Um, I don't know, the front's like so messed up, I'm kind of tempted to uh, try to glue it back together. That may be happening, I don't know. There's also a lovely black hair hanging around in there. That's kind of gross. And then the mask inside, to my understanding, is the vampire mask. So I guess I should back up briefly. This whole thing is seen when Jamie is walking over to the row of masks and there's a display behind her that has like the pumpkin blow mold on it, has a bunch of other random stuff. The pumpkin blow mold is actually sitting on a Spooky Spooks box. The box more or less looks the same to this from what you can see, but the label here is different. That one is the vampire, which is the mask that's in this box, but not the box that it's in. So I got most of the way there, but not quite all the way there. A little disappointing, but I've not yet seen a vampire pop up. I think this was close, and uh, you know, even though I think in the movie you see the logo facing out, I might just fudge it and just kind of have the spooky spook side. Uh, facing outward and you know it's kind of more or less the same thing the boxes are all pretty much generic and then they change these pieces out i think it seems that way it's not like a sticker or anything which is what i thought it would have been but it looks like it was all the same generic box also i don't know if it will focus on that but uh the price tag on here says it was a dollar 79 from grand central when they bought this uh i paid a little bit more than that here is the ma Ooh, it is so brittle feeling. Here is the mask. So I heard, uh, read somewhere, I don't know how widespread this was or if this is a joke on the site, but somebody called this the uh, Michael Jackson mask. But it's only supposed to be a female vampire. It has the elastic in the back, but it is broken on one side. Uh, it actually has, like, it looks like a little girl's name written in it and an address, like if it was lost. Uh, that's kind of funny. Yeah, super, super thin vacuum form plastic for this mask. This is gonna live in the box. I'm not planning to take this out. And the costume itself is just kind of one of those like, you know, smocks that you got back with the old Halloween costumes. I mean, even like the 90s when I was a kid, they were still doing these a lot. So not a lot of anything crazy. It's just kind of a picture of a female vampire on there. Bottom edge is a little tattered up. I honestly can't tell you if that was intentional or if uh, this thing just started to come apart over the years. I don't want to unfold it too much because I just want to put it back and let it be safe in the box again because I just don't trust this thing not disintegrating in my hands. So yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I'll let you see it as it was, but that's kind of how it comes in the box. And the top goes over, kind of letting it frame out what's in there. So thinking about it a little more, since blow mold, which doesn't weigh much, it does have to sit on top of this. I think I am going to do a little bit of mild uh, restoration on this. I don't really think I'm going to hurt the value of it because it's kind of falling apart as it is. So I'm going to try to save this before I put it together. And then uh, I will come back and show you it in the display. So here it is in the Vincent Drug display itself. I tried to go with kind of how it was in the movie. It lines up actually really well because it does kind of cover up the front of the uh, Decorama that I have behind it. So that's more or less kind of how it was. In the movie, the costume was stacked on top of a bunch of other stuff. 
I honestly cannot tell what those things are in the background. It's just a bunch of kind of shiny looking packages that are stacked up. So I'm not going to be including those in here anytime soon unless I find out what they are and feel like I can get my hands on a bunch of them because you would need a lot of them to really replicate the scene. Yeah, this is more or less how you see it. I did kind of have to fudge how the blow mold sits on there because the box is really flimsy in the center. What I can assume they did is what I kind of did here is balance it kind of off the corner of the box and then a bit on the nose of the mask itself. From the angle, you really can't tell in the movie how they're really sitting it on there, even how far deep in it is on the box itself. And I think by not having the original bottom to this, that could also be part of the reason why this thing doesn't line up quite as well. It doesn't fit in there and kind of solidify the lid, but also that lid is beat to shit. I don't know. I feel like I'm making a lot of excuses. But I am happy to have this. I got a decent deal on this, which is part of the reason why I went with this one that's a little banged up and not quite right. Honestly, everything else I found was completely not the right mask or box either. And they were probably about twice as much on eBay as this one was. So this just felt like good enough. Like I said, ironic that the contents of it that you can't see in the movie are more accurate than the actual label on the box. But not a big deal. Actually... Having this on here really makes me happy of how it kind of fills out that corner of the display. And just to get a slightly different angle, I think it's a little closer to kind of what you see in the movie. It definitely fills out that corner nicely. I was kind of going through it today because there's, you know, there's a lot that I could include in this, but a lot of things in there I have not been able to identify. So there's really two main pieces, actually three main pieces that I want to put near the uh, Michael Myers mask. And I think they would actually kind of fill out a lot of that area and a lot of the peg hooks on there. Not saying that I'm anywhere near close to being done with this by any means, at least this bottom section, but I think if I could find, hopefully this Halloween season, a couple of the last bits I'm looking for, specifically at least at the moment, I can manage to actually have, you know, the backdrop here filled out in a way that I think looks a little more complete and a little more like what I'm envisioning this Vincent drug display to be. But uh, the search continues. So that'll be it. Until next time. Later.